how many times have people asked you whether you've sold out in the past few months, now that you have a major label deal? You're the first. I don't believe that. No, we've been asked quite a bit, but not face to face. And, uh, you know, so we sold out, big deal. <laughs> I mean, to tell you? I mean, it's like, we've been on independent label for uh, 10 years. And, uh, is that something that worries you? I mean, do you feel like you have some kind of independent standard to uphold? No. When we first started, it, it wasn't so much, uh, I mean, we had nowhere to go anyway. The idea of being on a major label was, uh, was so far-fetched to begin with. And, uh, you know, I mean, something that we never had an ambition to do was to be on a major label or to have, like, corporate backing of any sort. Um, it's just something that never really entered our minds. And when we first started, the only alternative was to uh, put out records yourself, you know, which is what we did, and we totally controlled everything ourselves. And uh, at the time we started, a whole you know uprising of young bands in America started up, like Minor Threat on the East Coast, and you had Black Flag on the West Coast, and they all created their own labels, such as SST and Discord. And Jello Biafra had alternative tentacles, and touch and go. In the Midwest was touch and go, and they created a whole, an entirely, you know, alternative network to uh, to play and, and to make play. records. That was all a new thing, and it was very exciting, and it worked. And after ten years, it's it's become established. It has become a success. It's just as much big business as the major corporations, right. the major labels. Mm -hmm. There's the new music seminar, which is basically a a week of business meetings and you know it's, it's just like uh, the big big boys you know? right now you're seeing a lot of major labels I mean they, they see the whole independent scene after the last 10 years as being a successful thing an entity unto itself and and its own establishment and they're buying it up and which is you know what they want to do I mean mm -hmm. that's pretty much what goes on and uh, well your first major label video is cool thing what's the inspiration for this song uh, Kim wrote the words to this song. I think it's a pretty personal song. I mean, I think she sort of looks at it uh, from the viewpoint of women as a true anarchists in society. And uh, I think as an American, she really related it to um, sort of like the young black male as far as that, an oppressive part of society. And. The turning point is when she went and had an interview with LL Cool J last year for a, a publication. And they, she realized here was somebody she was totally attracted to as an entertainer. Um, and the conversation could only be pretty much just a touch and go conversation because their cultures were so divided. Here's the video for Cool Thing, this, in, about LL Cool J. LL but cool J is Chuck D a public enemy in there, right? Yeah, LL Cool J was uh, just sort of a catalyst for the song. Um, Chuck D was in the studio when we were recording it. Public Enemy was recording Fear of a Black Planet at the same time that we were recording Goo. And uh, when Kim was laying down her vocal track for that song, she asked Chuck if he'd want to like do a piece of it. And he heard the song and he complied. Sonic Youth have a new album called Goo. We're going to talk more about that in the second 60 mm -hmm. of Rum and Steve Shelley of Sonic Youth. Your new album is called Goo. Mm -hmm. Why? Goo is the name of a girl um, who was featured in this film called Sir Drone that was directed by Raymond Pettibone, who did the cover art for our album. And she, uh, the, the film is about punk rock, the beginnings of punk rock as taking place in Hollywood, and Goo is the girl in the film, and she plays the drums, and that's her real name. And I think Goo is pretty much uh, just this girl who sort of hangs around at punk rock clubs, wants to check out the scene, so it's kind of like an innocent person. Now, Goo, as an album, has had a lot of critical acclaim, including very kind words from Mr. Iggy Pop, who was here about a month ago. Uh, do you admire Iggy's work? Yeah, oh yeah. Iggy's uh, is, is, a, is a big influence and big inspiration to us. Um, we used to all, you know, we all grew up with the Stooges. First Stooges album, second 